Yeah, what's going on people? So uh, today I'm going to show you how we can accept some user input in JavaScript. Generally, there's two good ways of doing this. The easy way is to create a window prompt. The professional way is to create an HTML text box of some sort, and you'll likely need a button to submit the user input. Let's begin with the easy way. We'll create a window prompt. The first thing we should do is declare all of the variables we're going to use. Let's create a variable named username. We'll declare it, but not yet assign it. Then when we assign it, we can set username equal to, then to create a window prompt, we can type window dot prompt parentheses. Then within the parentheses, our window prompt can contain some text. Let's ask, what's your username? Okay, let's run this and see what happens. What's your username? I will type in my username, press OK. We have this variable username. It will have a value, but we should do something with it. Let's console.log our username. Let's try that again. What's your username? I'll type in my username. Feel free to type in yours. Let's check our dev tools. And here's my username. So that's the easy way to accept user input. With this window prompt, you could assign declaration and assignment together if you want to. You know, that would also work. Now we will accept user input the professional way by creating an HTML text box. We will navigate to our HTML file. Okay, let's create an H1 element that says welcome. We'll need a text box. We'll use a self-closing input tag. I will set the ID of this text box to be my text. I'll create a label for this text box too, because if we're a user, we don't know what we're supposed to type in here. I will create a label. The text within the label will be username. Then a submit button. Button. The text will be submit. I'll put this on a new line. I'll add a break tag. Maybe two. To make it look nice. For the ID of the button, I'll set the ID to be my submit. Let's see if this works. This is a little advanced. When we click on this button, we're going to execute a function. But we need to select this button. We will access the document of our web page. Get element by ID. The ID that we're getting is the ID of the button, my submit. So within quotes, type the name of the ID. Follow this with dot on click equals. Here we'll write everything we're going to do after clicking the button. We need a function, function parentheses, curly braces. Everything between this set of curly braces is everything we'll do when we click on the button. So first we need a username variable outside of the function. When we click on the button, get the text from this text box. We will reassign our username, then set this equal to the text from the text box. We'll use document.getElementById. The ID that we're getting this time is my text. We need the value of the text box, so follow this with dot value. All right, then to test this, let's console dot log the username. All right, let's type in our username, press submit, then check dev tools. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's replace console dot log. We'll change the text content of our H1 element. I will give this h1 element a unique ID. Let's say my h1. We need to select my h1 element. Document.getElementById. The ID was my h1. We are changing the text content equal to, let's use a template literal. Hello, username. All right, let's try this again. 
type in your username, press submit, and that should change the H1 element. Hello, whatever your name is. All right, everybody, so those are two different ways to accept user input. You can use a window prompt, or you can use an HTML text box. And that is how to accept user input in JavaScript.